Is there something in this room that belongs to you by chance? Oh, he's Come waving. Here. It just waved at us. What's up guys, Jody Dean here, Mr. Hunting the Dead. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm here once again in Monticello, Florida, but today we have a special treat for you guys. I am at the Daffodil House. Now I've just spoke to the owner, you're going to hear from him in a moment here, but there's been many ghostly encounters that have happened here over the years. Many things caught on camera but we're gonna let you guys hear from him he's gonna tell us about some of the things that have happened and we're gonna show you his very eclectic collection and some of these things here I have never seen before you guys are in for a treat once again I find myself at one of the most haunted bed and breakfast in the United States the Daffodil house this place is so eclectic and its artifacts and its mystery and its history it is truly one of a kind and I got to investigate it. You have a lot of religious stuff in yes, here. I do. Does any of that stuff have bring a certain energy in here to you that sticks out um, spiritually? Yeah, I love I love Jesus. I love what Jesus stands for. Mary, Angel Michael. They're all over the place. So people come in here and they say, well, you know, you're really not that religion. How come you have all this stuff like this? I believe in the back of my mind that these religious items can dispel anything that would be of, neg of negativity in this home. I collect them because they're beautiful but I do feel in my gut. I have my Jesus over there. It was made in 1945. And it's extraordinary how they created that, that statue uh, because when you move around it and keep watching it, he follows you. And it's a dramatic test for people. When they see it, they, it blows their mind. It's, oh my God, he really does follow you. Now, when I have children here, we get a lot of kids. Uh, I want the kids to see that, and I want them to say it. As long as I know that they're of the religion and it's not going to freak out their parents, I, I hear it from them, and they say, he follows you. I made a point. For anybody that, that's interested in love and good things, this guy was there. He is there. He's there right now in our world. And we just have to, we have to feel it and go towards the goodness of people, not the negativity as we've seen recently. Some major negativity in our world is out in the open and it's very sad, but uh, we should all believe it and do the best we can within our own selves to acknowledge it, acknowledge him, and that he stood for very good things. Uh, not like maybe others, he stood for good things. Right now I'm in the stuff room and there are a lot of artifacts in here, some ancient things, antique things. Uh, I just seen this doll that really caught my eye earlier. I'm gonna run the spirit box with her in my arm in this room. Is there something in this room that belongs to you by chance? Are you attached to one of these items? Maybe this doll that is in my arms. Rosary. Rosary. We got a rosary hanging in here. What about Harry Houdini? The death certificate. Any connection there? We're home. I 
heard purse a second ago. There's a bunch of purses behind Alicia. Is do one of those belong to you? Does this doll have a name by chance? Dorothy. Did you just say that the doll's name is Dorothy? Yes. Are you attached to this doll? Did you follow this doll here? You were created. Where did this doll come from? Her created again. You were created, then I heard created. Did you help create this doll? Let me move on from her real quick. She had caught my eye for a reason, so I, I, I wanted to double check. So the spirit box, it scans through radio frequencies very fastly or slowly. And what we do is we ask spirits questions and we ask, uh, we look for their response, a uh, direct communication. Well, when they respond, what I'm looking for, you see me sometimes, I'm shaking my head. I'm like, no, that's not a spirit voice. That's not a spirit voice. Because when a spirit speaks, they'll speak over those sweeps that you hear. Over it. And radio personalities or commercials, they'll stop the sweeps for the second they come through. So that's why I kind of shake my head. I want people to know like what's real and what's not. But we definitely got some real responses. What, what was the responses we got? Well, we def I heard the name Dorothy. I heard I created. I heard created. So now I'm wondering if maybe the doll maker as well as somebody the doll belonged to, maybe with the doll. Because I'll tell you, when I came in this room, it's the first thing that really, really hit me besides this gorgeous mirror right here. Um, and then you showed me Harry Houdini's death certificate and uh, the death mask and some other things. I'm like, okay, well, there could be something there. But the doll, uh, I felt something he 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 heavy, heavy, heavily. So, and, and it feels great. It doesn't feel, doesn't feel bad whatsoever. But it felt enough. I felt enough that I said, hey, we got to try and... See if something comes there. And I even got I even got a coldness around me oh, right you got now. It, so, you? Yeah. I haven't even said anything yet. He's standing right by there. Can you are you recording? Yes. Okay, guys, I was about to acknowledge the Harry Houdini death certificate here. And before I could even say anything, oh my god, it just walked away. There was a figure that appeared right here to the right of it. Can you please come back? Can you come back and stand by that again? Could Harry Houdini speak to us from wherever he is? You know, you can speak into this camera my wife is filming with. It showed up and then it was gone. And it would have been standing right here. Did you get to see it? I, I did see it and I saw something I don't think you saw. Okay. Just as you were turning and you were thinking of, mm -hmm. there was sprays of light like this. What? Yeah, I saw that and then it just it went away. Let me see. Let me reposition myself. Maybe it came closer here. Want to follow me a little bit, Alicia? Is there anybody in this hallway? 
we come in peace here. We just would like to communicate with the spirits. We are making a video about the Daffodil House here so we can share it with a lot of people and share you. There are so many dolls here that I get a feeling from, but nothing. We got something, <gasps> something. right there. Hey, bud. Yeah. Oh, he's Come waving. Here. It just waved at us. Check this out. It's literally standing right in front of me. You see the stick figure? Put his <gasps> hand up and he waved. Can you hold your hand up and wave again, please? That's a human being. Just hold it up and wave just like this. There it goes. There it goes. He's waving. He did it. Oh, be dog. This is crazy. Wave back. Hi. He's <laughs> doing it again. I get the chills. I almost don't even want to move because I, I don't want yeah, it to. Yeah, you're afraid he's going to go away. I don't want you to go away, but can you lead us somewhere maybe? Or maybe can you call some other spirits over to hang out with you? Guys, you know what I'm just noticing? This s s figure is standing right here, and its head almost goes up to where the woman is. Hmm. Is, do you know that woman? No, no, I don't know any of them. What's well, waving again? I know. <laughs> Can you follow with us? Are you in that picture by chance? Wow, as I'm getting closer, it's getting super cold right in front of me. I can feel you. There's, <gasps> There's another, another one. one. We got another one, guys. We got two figures here. It's a smaller one. <laughs> that other one is so Did you hear that? I heard a whisper. I just heard something like right here. It sounded like. That is amazing. Are you moving with us? Oh, we lost one, but we got the second one that showed up now. Are you leading us down here? Was that you that just said, ask her? I heard it to my far right, so I don't know if you guys heard it, but. Oh, just turned it off. They just I don't know what happened there. Is that unusual? That is, yeah. It is. Yeah, it's got a full yeah, battery it just on turns. it. Instantly, we got some figures on the SLS. Um, it definitely felt a coldness in the area where we were filming at, and I heard a voice to my far right. It sounded like, ask her. So, it'll be interesting to see if we caught that on camera. Sometimes we capture it better on camera than we can hear it with our own ears, which is amazing. But, where we just left off with this figure, it was standing in front of this restroom. So I don't know if maybe it wanted us to go in there for some reason. So we're going to just check this out real quick. Yeah, so I don't know if it wanted us to come in here or it was just standing at the uh, end of the hallway here. But that was pretty That was pretty cool, man. This was a bathroom at one time. I mean, with showers and the whole thing. Okay, Alicia's trying to figure out it's the SLS. That green light, does that mean it's low on juice? No, it means it's working, but it's not... What was that? Reading. Um, I just took a picture with the thermal. It looks like there's somebody's head and their arms standing right there. Uh, hmm. Let me try it again. Okay, as you guys will see real quick, that's what Alicia looks like on the thermal.
Hey, you said yeah. you seen something over here? Look at this. Yeah, what is it? There's a... Okay, so she's got something here now. Alicia's picking up someone or something on the SLS and the general direction that it's sitting is just like over here by like this camel, this horse, right? Mm -hmm. I wonder if it was on the horse. Maybe it was like a little kid or something. Because I seriously do think there's something hanging around that doll over there. Okay, so there's the doll that I was just holding. Is there anything with that doll? Is Dorothy there by chance? You know, that was my grandmother's name. If there is, will you come sit by the doll so we can take a picture of you with it? I had a full battery seconds ago. It's blinking red right now. Very common. <laughs> yeah. It happens to me a lot, but it, it, it still always surprises me. I don't well, know why. Well, she got a full camera. You didn't have enough time to really get it worn down. That was unreal. You just said yes. that this area, where the doll's sitting, where we've been capturing figures yeah. and filming, this used to be a viewing area. It was a viewing area. I've been told that by a few different people that were aware of that. Obviously, wow. I wouldn't be able to, I wasn't here then, but they've said. I'm a huge, huge fan of Harry Houdini, and this gentleman uh, has his death certificate. And my whole thought process, ever since I seen this when I walked in here, was there could be a potential chance that we could communicate with him just by asking him to communicate with us, not trying to bring him here or or anything like that. And the first thing that happened was a figure appeared right here and was that him obviously we can't say that but that was the intentions that were radiating from me from the time we sat this down here was <laughs> my lifelong goal communicate with Harry Houdini that figure appeared then suddenly we started getting some kind of action down here with the SLS I heard a voice it got really cold and uh, now I'm back here again. Is Harry Houdini here? I just heard yeah. Mr. Houdini? Can you say your name if you're here? Is he just brought this down to show us this Thomas Jefferson original signed right here at the bottom. This is legit. Now, if this were to go to auction, what kind of numbers could somebody expect? Six figures. Six figures. Six figures for something like this. That's what it could go for in auction. Especially signed. Let me say this, if there's somebody out there that's interested in buying this from this gentleman, um, you can contact him, his information, links will be in the description below. You could have an opportunity at owning this, but just know, you're gonna pay. Guys, at this point right here, we just stopped filming and continued to talk to Scotty. He's very infectious, he's a wonderful gentleman, such a nice guy, and you guys will get the chance to meet him shall you book your stay at the Daffodil House here in Monticello, Florida. I hope you do, it's a wonderful place. You can stay the night in this amazing place and have breakfast, lunch, dinner, all that good stuff right there. The links will be in the description below. Sweet nightmares. <laughs>